All right, welcome back. Today we're going to be reading another article, converting this article into a video article. This is going to be one of the longest video articles that I've put together, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The Purpose of Life First of all, the universe, most fundamentally, is a binary system with matter and space, or energy and dark energy. Dark energy could be considered space or space-time, ether, zero-point energy, etc. We are not in five dimensions. We are in a ten-dimension bubble that is part of the multiverse, and there is an eleventh dimension. But within the ten-dimension universe we are in, we are, in fact, within the fifth dimension, within the ten-dimensional universe, which is within the eleventh dimension. Needless to say, between the very large, or the macro, and the very small, or the micro, we are within the fifth dimension, and the fifth dimension is formed up by the cosmos itself. The cores of the cosmos, the stars, planets, moons, and protoplanets, and even black holes are all within the fifth spatial dimension. All of these cores of the cosmos are naturally occurring crystal core quantum computers, and through their connection to the 11th dimension, they build the machinery of the universe, or the machinery of the cosmos. To simplify this, everything in the universe is either expanding or it is contracting. The cores of the cosmos use quantum physics to expand not only themselves, but also the space they occupy, and so everything in the universe is expanding and growing. The stars and other cores of the cosmos that are large enough as they move around the central black sun, or supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy, through the very motion of matter, because of their size, they are able to grow themselves and the space they occupy. Motion of matter equals gravity, which equals energy, plus about 10%. The central black sun creates the pole for the rest of the stars in the galaxy to use as a central point to rotate around, and through the use of gravity assist, they are able to swing around the center and increase their velocity. And therefore, when they increase their velocity, they increase their energy and their mass. The further out from the central black sun they get, the faster they are moving, and they proportionally gain mass and energy, and the very motion over the positively charged universe allows them to literally grow themselves. They increase their velocity by perfecting their use of gravity waves, and with the slightest exertion of energy and gravity assist, they constantly move faster and faster, swim swim faster and faster, to infinity and beyond. The smaller cores, the planets, etc., can also grow themselves due to their motion, but if they have rocky or even better, liquid surfaces, they can literally create life and it's life's efficiency that helps them physically grow themselves even faster than they normally would. So, the very efficiency of life takes the raw energy within its environment and grows, and in doing so, it is growing the planet it is on. Think of it. Trees grow the soil around themselves. Animals grow the soil with their waist, their hair, and their skin flakes, and of course their bones, their skeletons. The skeletons of life build the very surface life grows on. And the consciousness. All consciousness is tied to the cores of the cosmos. The crystal core quantum computers that interact with the crystals within the center of your brain. The pineal gland. Through this crystal in your head, you are connected to the cosmos you inhabit. And with this connection to the crystal core quantum computer of Mother Earth, and her connection to the universe, all is connected and all is within the one crystal core quantum computer we are all entangled in. This being the supermassive black hole in the universe above us, we are within the quantum computer within the black hole above us, or we are part of the quantum computer that is the universe. To understand this and how the entire multiverse or omniverse works, you need to understand that the flesh builds the cores of the cosmos and the cores compute the ever-expanding infinity. And with their increasing density, there is a perpetual increase of mass. And this mass is perpetually falling into an infinite cascading universe, into new cores, in new universes. Just like childbirth, the universe 
multiverse is in perpetual expansion and creating new crystal cores all the time. And it's the constantly growing cores that create black holes that create new universes within the black holes. And so as life builds the cores, the cores are growing and growing, heavier and heavier, until they get heavy enough to become black holes. And within their own universe, their time is so much faster than the time in the universe they are residing in. And so they are able to use time manipulation and actually grow the mass within themselves. And when they do this, when a black hole is able to grow itself, it is able to spit matter back up out of itself and actually grow a galaxy around itself. So, the supermassive black hole is growing within, while the stars and black holes of the galaxy it is creating are able to grow themselves. And so, we have the ever-expanding eternal universe. The machinery of the universe and the integral part not only the physical life forms take, but the consciousness associated with them. Within the core of the planet, star, galaxy, and universe they are within, these consciousness eventually become unique individuals, or souls, spelled S-O-U-L-S, -S, or S-O-L-S, -S, as in the sun is a soul, S-O-L, soul and soul are the same word. And the flesh builds the physical while the soul, S-O-U-L, learns life's journey, and it's the soul that is harvested to fill the need for consciousness in the ever-expanding universe. The cores of the cosmos within the realms of the new universes need consciousness, and it's your soul's journey learning the lessons of life so that one day you can be the core of the planet, star, or even black hole. Will you be a good host to life? Orion Michael Guy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe. I will definitely be putting a lot more videos together. This particular article I will be elaborating on further, so I will definitely make another video of this article, and I will try to elaborate and put a lot more video graphic content in it to really try to explain what I'm talking about. I hope you understood that. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.